Hi, it's Money44 here and today I welcome you in the review of my new pistol, the ICS BLE XAE. Let's go! Let's start with a fast unboxing. Replica comes in the nice box and a side we will find. A detailed manual with lots of useful information and parts chart, the BLE XAE itself, green gas mag, additional pistol grip panel, 40mm silencer adapter and a ramrod that in my case came broken. It's worth to mention that the BLE XAE officially is not a replica of any existing pistol, but resembles some similarities to the FNS9 and what is interesting, it does fit a Glock holsters of any kind. BLE stands for the Black Leopard Eye, that is the ICS pistol range, and the XAE means extra and enhanced, that in short means that the pistol has all manipulators on the both sides. Let's take a closer look. The pistol is made very well that we can expect from ICS, only thing that stands out are the seams on the frame made from reinforced polymer, but it doesn't interfere in use. Slide has very small play on the frame and it's practically not noticeable, but the barrel fluting is not that great and it moves around and makes a rattling sound. Frame has a comfortable grip which length we can adjust with included rear panel. In my opinion, thicker grip is more comfortable and pistol looks way better. At front we will find a wrist rail that will enable us to install accessories like a flashlight. Replica has two safeties. First one is a two-part trigger that locks if it's not pressed correctly and the second one is a small button. If pressed, the pistol is unsafe and when we see a red ring, we can shoot. Slide is made from aluminium that is uncommon in this price range and it's very nice touch from ICS. On it we will find a laser engraved BLD logo, 6mm, black leopard eye and made in Taiwan indication. Slide has a characteristic cutout where the barrel is that makes the slide lighter. Also we will find a non-adjustable glow-in-the-dark iron sights. Chamber has a 9mm marking on top. Green gas mag in a 2 rounds can hold up to 24 rounds and it's made mostly from metal. Only parts from reinforced polymer are the feeding lips, base plate, BB guide and the spring guide. It's fairly easy to fill with BBs and in one gas refill I was able to take 2.5 mag of shots. Disassembly is very easy, all we have to do is drag the slide to the back and move the disassembly lever down. And now move the slide forward. After taking out the spring guide we can take out the barrel assembly. Replica has a 85mm precision barrel, both barrel and backing are in the GBB Fawesser standard. To adjust the hop-up you have to take off the slide and by rotating the small wheel you can adjust it. I have to add that the stock hop-up has no problems with 0.30 gram BBs that I will show later. Outer barrel has a 11mm left thread that we can use to mount a 14mm adapter. I advise to use this adapter all the time because it stabilizes the barrel and helps with accuracy. Thanks to a powerful recoil spring and a light slide we can take fast shots and the pistol is not sluggish. Time for chrono test and some shooting. Pistol and the magazine before shooting had about 24 degrees of Celsius. I will test the replica on 0.20g and 0.30g BBs, hop up set to the heavier BBs. Average FPS were about 266 FPS and joules at 0.65. Difference from the highest to the lowest FPS was about 12 FPS and for joules it was about 0.06 joules. Let's see how it will perform on heavier BBs. On 0.30 gram BBs average FPS was about 231 FPS, but for joules I saw a small increase thanks to the joule creep effect, and our average was about 0.73 joules, which means we got about 0.09 joule more with just heavier BBs. It's not much, but it's an information for us that we have excess amount of gas that can be utilized with heavier BBs or longer barrel. Pistol was tested on 0.30 gram BBs. On distance of 30 meters there was no problem to hit the target and most of the shots had quite tight grouping. Okay. 
On 40 meters, it was mostly the same, all shots in the target, but grouping was slightly worse. On 50 meters I started to have some problems, few shots missed the target and grouping was all over the place. Partially it may be because of the wind, but nonetheless it's still astonishing with stock pistol of this power. I have to add that on this range my pistol does tend to shoot not necessarily to the left. I don't know if it's problem with my pistol or if it's something normal with these guns. I will check this when I will replace the barrel and the backing. ICS BLD XAA is a quite nice pistol and a good price, a high quality product made with a good materials as reinforced polymer and aluminium. Thanks to the manipulators on the both sides it's fully ambidextrous and with only 670 grams of weight it's quite light and it's nice to handle. It has a swappable grip panel, glowing in the dark iron sights, 40mm silencer adapter in kit, it's gas efficient and max hold up to 24 BBs. Additionally with the low power it outperforms some cheaper AEGs. It's worth noting that it fits Glock holsters. Only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that my pistol on the longer distances does tend to shoot visible to the left and that the barrel is loose and rattles. It will be also nice if ICS will bring to the market the CO2 Max and what it seems from the Max themselves that was planned. Personally, I'm very happy with the purchase and I'm sure that you will see this pistol many times on my channel. Leave a comment what do you think about this pistol and if you have one, how it performs. And for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.